Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about something that could reshape the entire landscape of voice AI. If you like AI or voice technology, this is something you absolutely need to know. So, OpenAI recently launched their real-time API, with which developers can now build fast speech-to-speech -speech applications. In this video, I will deep dive into how this API works, why it's so powerful, how businesses can use it, and why I think it's going to be a game changer for the voice AI industry. So stick around for this deep dive into the future of voice AI. Apologies for this plug early on, but if you're interested in tutorials and how-to videos on the latest AI technology, be sure to subscribe now so you don't forget and miss out. Okay, let's get back. First up, what is voice AI? So before we get into the specifics of real-time API, let's start with the basics. What exactly is voice AI? So, well, voice AI refers to systems designed to interact with humans using spoken language. So you've probably already encountered it in everyday life. You know, think about voice assistants like Siri, Alexa, or even automated customer service systems. These systems use a combination of technologies, speech to text to understand what we say, natural language processing to interpret that information, and text to speech to respond back. What makes voice AI important is its ability to simplify human computer interactions. Okay, so instead of typing, users can speak naturally, which is quicker, more intuitive, and accessible to everyone. Next, how does voice AI work? So let's break it down. In the voice orchestration model, when you talk to a voice assistant, you spoke, your spoken words are first turned into text using something called a speech-to-text engine. This engine might be powered by services like DeepGram, Whisper, or some other service. Then, this text is processed by AI models such as OpenAI or Anthropic or some other large language model, which interprets the meaning and context of your words. After the AI processes what you have said, it generates a response. This response is sent back as text, which is then converted into speech by a text-to-speech engine uh, like Eleven Labs or PlayHD. The, the key challenge has always been making these steps happen fast enough to feel like a natural conversation. Now in voice orchestration, this process involves multiple models for different stages, speech recognition, natural language understanding, and voice synthesis. And each step takes time. But this is where the real-time API comes in and changes the game. So what exactly is the real-time API? OpenAI's real-time API is designed to cut down the processing time and make voice AI feel more human with the near instantaneous responses. Unlike voice orchestration model that converts audio to text and then back again, the real-time API uses speech-to-speech -to, -speech to stream audio in and out directly. This means conversation happen in real time without the awkward pauses. It also allows for fluid conversation, meaning you can ask questions, interrupt or switch topics seamlessly, just like a real conversation. Another important feature in this real time API is that it supports something called function calling. This allows your voice assistant not just to answer questions, but to trigger real world actions. For instance, it can place orders, schedule appointments, or pull specific data to provide personalized answers, all in real time. Okay, now let's talk about some shortcomings of the voice orchestration AI system. So let's take a moment to look at the limitations of voice orchestration, which is the real which the real time API aims to address. Okay, so the, one of the major issues is latency. In the voice orchestration systems, there are delays between the user speaking and the AI responding. This is because the system has to convert speech to text, process that text, generate a response, and then convert it back to speech. This can take a second or two, or even more, depending on the complexity of the interaction. Now, for a natural human conversation, this kind of delay breaks the flow. Okay. So another challenge is the lack of emotional nuance. So in voice orchestration, AI systems often sound very robotic because they lose important elements like tone and empathy when converting between speech and text. Since emotions play a huge role in human conversation, the absence of these subtleties make interactions feel unnatural. Lastly, voice orchestration setups rely on multiple service providers for different functions, one for speech recognition, another for text generation, and yet another for speech synthesis. This creates, <clears throat> this creates complexity in billing, setup, and maintenance. It, if one service goes down, the whole system breaks. 
This is where the real-time API really shines. By handling both the input and the output as audio, it cuts on several steps from the process. The API doesn't need to convert speech to text and then back again, making conversations faster and more fluid. It also allows the AI to interact in real time, just like a human would in a face-to-face -face conversation. This also solves the empathy problem. The real-time API can interpret emotions and respond with the appropriate tone. Imagine speaking to a voice assistant that understands whether you are frustrated or you are happy or you're confused and adjusts its responses accordingly. And with fewer integrations, there's less complexity. The real-time API handles most of the backend work, so developers don't need to deal with multiple service providers. This reduces the, ch the chances of downtime and makes the system more reliable. Okay, next up is the benefits of real-time API. Now, let's talk about some real-world benefits of using the real-time API. One of the most exciting aspects is speed. The API's ability to handle conversations in real-time makes it makes the interaction feel smooth and natural. This is critical for industries like customer service, where users expect quick responses. Another big advantage is the simplicity of integration. Now, with the real-time API, everything you need for a natural conversation is in one place. Developers no longer have to combine multiple models or deal with latency issues. Whether you are building a voice-based customer service, a language learning app, or even an AI-powered healthcare solution, the real-time API makes the process faster and much more efficient. Plus, the cost is reasonable. Prices start at six cents per minute for audio input and 24 cents per minute for audio output, and it'll only go down from here, making it even more affordable. This means it's scalable and will be accessible for businesses of all sizes. So which businesses are going to benefit the most from the real-time API? Well, there are a lot. Let's break it down. First is customer service or customer support. Companies that rely on voice-based customer service will see massive improvements in how quickly and efficiently they can handle queries. Second is healthcare. In the medical field, voice assistants can help patients schedule appointments, check symptoms, or even provide basic medical advice. Now, real-time responses are crucial in these situations. Third can be education. In language learning or educational platforms, having instant feedback from an AI assistant keeps users engaged and support a more interactive learning experience. Uh, fourth is retail. For e-commerce platforms, using voice-based assistants, quick responses to produce inquiries, order tracking, or personalized suggestions can make or break a customer's experience. Okay, and these are just the few. There'll be a lot more. So now the future of platforms like WAPI. Now, one question I've been getting a lot is, will platforms like WAPI, Bland, or Synthflow survive the rise of the real-time API? And my answer is a resounding yes. In fact, I think the new real-time API will enhance what these platforms can do rather than replace them. Platforms like WAPI already provide a ton of utility, like allowing users to choose between different voice orchestration layers, manage customer voices, and handle complex telephony integrations. The real-time API won't make them obsolete. It will supercharge them. That's according to me. I believe we'll see these platforms integrate the real-time API into their systems, giving users the option to choose between the voice orchestration AI architecture and the new faster real-time approach. The flexibility will be crucial for businesses that want to customize their voice AI solutions based on specific needs. Okay, so in conclusion, OpenAI's real-time API is a revolutionary step forward from voice AI. It addresses the long-standing issues of latency, emotional nuance, and complexity, making it easier to create human-like voice interactions, but it won't replace existing platforms like WAPI or Bland. It will empower them to offer even more advanced features and flexibility. Now, if you're working in voice AI, this is a perfect time to explore the possibilities of real-time API. I'm super excited about what's coming next. And I'm sure you'll see some incredible applications emerge from this technology. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or thoughts, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more insights on AI and voice tech. I'll see you in the next video.